Yesterday, the small animal shelter at the Chico airport closed operations. Animals that were at the Chico shelter have been transitioned here to the Oroville shelter, located at the old county hospital. <laughs> Our temporary emergency shelters were initiated on November 8th, the day that the fire broke out. And at the peak of the fire, we had over 2,000 animals that we were providing medical and sheltering services for. We are now down to 1,300, which is still a lot of animals, but it does give us the ability to consolidate some of our shelters. Honestly, everybody wants to If you own an animal that's at one of our temporary animal shelters, we encourage you to call the reunification hotline. We have specialists on hand ready to help you identify long-term sheltering options that are more comfortable for your pet. Okay. At our shelters, we have an amazing uh, group of support. Um, we have support from the ASPCA, we have mutual aid support from other counties that bring in some of their animal control uh, staff, and we have community uh, volunteers that come every day. When animals are sheltered for an extended period of time, um, they can be affected emotionally and physically, and sometimes the emotional effects stay with them far longer um, and they are much they will be much more comfortable as they transition to a longer term sheltering solution whether that be with a, a friend or a family member um, a, a household here in butte county that has indicated that they want to foster and help you or uh, with a private boarding facility that just has a little more space if you are able to come to the shelter and uh, reunite with your animal and you are in need of immediate supplies, Butte County Animal Control can send you home with food, bowls, leashes, and even crates or carriers.